Too long has it been since I've watched a down-to-earth cartoon. No magic or monsters, you think regular show is gonna be regular, but no, it was not regular whatsoever. This new series, Clarence, is a slice-of-life show of kids just doing kids stuff, featuring the title character, who's up for anything. I'm calling to RSVP for your sleepover extravaganza. Absolutely! Come on over whenever you want, buddy! I got a lot of pizza poppers! All right, sounds good. I'll be there around 5 o'clock. Okay, bye! I love you! But I know what you're thinking. Why is everything in this video blue? That's not important. You're thinking this is some immature, gross-out cartoon, but there's more to it. The charm in Clarence is it's loaded in quirks that fascinated me when I was younger. Those sticky hand toys, lizard tails that fall off, running through racks of clothing, those indoor playgrounds with the shelves you leave your shoes in. Sumo, wait! You gotta put your shoes in the cubby, see? And then you put on a flesh pair. Flesh! It barely premiered on Cartoon Network, but feels so nostalgic without resorting to pulp culture references like, hey, remember that? That's a thing. When Clarence's classmates are done playing outside and are covered in dirt and sweat as the sun is setting, that just reeks of summer vacation to me. I really hope they make an episode out of this. Maybe I'm not the only one to do it, but me and my family would gather and volunteer at a soup kitchen and we would take we we would we would pay every week we pay homeless people 20 bucks hey can you can you light can you light your own beard on fire <laughs> it was my college tuition and we <laughs> they light their own beard on fire and we just for 20 bucks <laughs> we were messed up Clarence has two best friends, Sumo, who is most likely an escaped mental patient that deserves to be euthanized from the face of the planet, while Jeff requires cleanliness. Despite their contrast, it's so endearing they still try to accept each other. Get up, get come on. on. No, oh, no. On. Don't touch my hands, your hands are filthy. They're full of germs. There are endless comments saying Jeff resembles Steve of Minecraft because of his square head, and that's the only reason. I don't play much of Minecraft. I do look into Adolf Hitler's autobiography, Mein Kampf, Mein Kampf, my lovely lady Kampf. One nice detail is Clarence's mother is usually present supervising them. Did that bother anyone else in other cartoons you see kids walking around a city unsupervised? In Pokemon, everyone's okay with a 10-year-old exploring a world full of monsters. A stray dog can be scary enough, but in a world where one can breathe fire? No, I am never leaving my house. This cast of characters feel real to me, but soon you learn more about them and it's like, ah, uh, that got too real. So what grade are you gonna be in next year? I'm gonna be in fifth grade. But I don't know if I'm coming back. Oh, what do you mean? I might be moving. I don't know if I'm going to be living with my mom or my dad. Huh. The one who voiced and created Clarence is Skylar Page. He worked as an Adventure Time storyboard writer, but also did this animated short I'll link to you, Crater Face. For sure I'll do more videos on pilots and shorts, but yes, you really should look further into Clarence. So now, be sure to follow my Tumblr. A Q&A will be on my personal Tumblr the first Sunday of each month. And that stupid comic I was working on, Loki IRL, is finally out. Though nothing major has happened so far, but it's gonna.